23-year-old Gillian Powell has worked for Trading Standards in West Kent for just 18 months. She's already assisted on more than 10 raids and has helped to seize 6,000 counterfeit items. Now she's about to lead a raid on counterfeiters for the first time. Gillian's never off duty. She's always on the hunt for dodgy goods. They can be found anywhere from market stalls to the high street. We'll always be on the lookout for shops that may be selling counterfeits or stalls that appear to maybe be selling fake items. This is Gillian's biggest challenge to date, and she's feeling the pressure, but she hides it well. I am nervous, but I'm not overly nervous. I don't think it's going to get in the way of doing anything in the right or wrong way. This is Gillian's chance to prove herself, but she won't have to do it alone. Friends and colleagues, Esther Flinders and Lee Older, will be on hand to help. Lee and I were out on just a day's work and I saw this new shop that I hadn't seen before. We went in, had a look around and reckoned probably up to 60% of their stock was what we thought would be counterfeit. For every designer brand, there's an expert whose job it is to ensure we're buying quality products and not shoddy copies. Spotting fakes takes a trained eye, so ahead of the raid, Gillian calls in the experts. They give her the lowdown on what to look out for in the murky world of counterfeiting. Some of the garments you'll find are uh, direct copies of an existing right. genuine garment. Mm -hmm. And others are just whatever the, whatever the manufacturers came across in terms of fabric. Yeah. So like for instance here, you have this kind of sticker. We don't do that. Right. The dye on these felt jackets. Yeah. Oh, it's foul. Okay. See the stitch in there? Yeah which they've removed. It's the uh, inside label, basically, the quality of the stitching. Armed with her newfound knowledge and confidence, Gillian's ready to strike. I'm all organised, got everything sorted, got my briefing plan sorted, I know what equipment we're going to need, who's going to be there, so hopefully it should all go OK. Gillian's making her final preparations. I'm just putting together what we call the seizure kit, which is all the bits and pieces that we need to take with us today. Um, it includes all things like the seals that we need for the evidence, the notices that we're going to be giving to the people that we're seizing off of, just to let them know of their rights and our powers. Um, I've put some gloves in the bag. Um, I'm trying to put in quite a few large bags. It's going to be a mission trying to shut the bag. Other vital tools are a pocketbook that can be used as evidence in court and a camera. I think it's a key to getting my independence for becoming my own person at work. It's a chance to prove myself and prove that I can do things on my own. Gillian seems ready for action, but will the raid be a success? <laughs>